So what we got here, dirt bike front end on what was a drift trike at some point that we picked up for $100 in the middle of nowhere in Utah. The guy says it ran at some point, which it must have because the axle snapped off and the wheels were welded on. So we got some lawnmower tires, ordered a bunch of new parts, and we're gonna see if she'll go. First thing we are gonna do is check to see if this engine's got sparks still. Cause I feel like before we delve into this whole project, we really need to see if this engine's gonna run. Cause it turns. Ooh, it's a little crusty. We gotta scrape all this, all these leaves out of there so they don't fall into the engine. Look at that. Hey, get out of here. So we didn't think there was spark, but then I found this nifty little switch right here. And we flipped it. And then, ready? And check out this spark plug test. Steady. Ooh. Oh, you can see that spark. I'm okay, sure you this, saw it now. Absolutely freaking love that. Because now that we got spark, I'm sure we can get this engine running. It's going to save us literally so much trouble. I don't really want to have to go find a new engine for this. If we don't have to. So next step is we're going to take this air box off somehow. And, well, actually, next up, we're gonna check, make sure there's oil in it. If there is, then we're gonna spray some starter fluid in it and see if it starts like that. Or maybe just pour some gas straight into the carb. Give it a little tickle, if you know what I mean. All right, so, okay, took the air filter off, which actually looks really clean. We got spark, it feels like we got compression. So we're gonna give it some starter fluid and see if we can get any. It's actually carb cleaner. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it, but it does the same thing, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, we almost had something. Actually, you know, frigate. I'm 90% sure that's that's just where you're gonna pour it. So I'm just gonna pour some gas in there and see what happens. Not too much though, just a wee, wee little bit. That looks like two stroke gas. So maybe we're not gonna use that anymore. So I just opened the fuel tank for the first time. I don't know if you can see that, but see how crusty that is? That's bad, that's bad news. Especially for our carburetor. Carbs over there, we're gonna do some cleaning. We're narrating because we're gonna make a video of it. This is Joshua. Got the carburetor pulled apart, real gunked up. Josh is working on getting the old axle out. All right, well, the axle's not coming out, so we're gonna cut it out. There we go. Take that, you stupid axle. Bearing slid while we were doing that, so we could have just probably pulled it out at that point. Look at that, we did it. There's a lot of shit in this float bowl, but I don't think it's gonna matter, so we're just gonna run it. But I got everything out, cleaned the jets, even though I stripped it, but I got my little cleaner tool through. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> did it move? Hey, <laughs> it moved. One swing, One. everybody knows the rules. Oh, oh, I it. <laughs> oh, it's so close. Oh, he's so strong. There's the before and after. Wow, look at you polishing them up real nice. Well, a sprocket didn't fit on the axle. I missed all the hammering. And now we're trying to widen the sprocket deal. Make it more of a slip fit type. Look at Maybe. that sprocket. That's called <laughs> progress. Okay, it took a lot of sledgehammering, other hammering, but we got bearings lined up, the sprocket mostly lined up, this bearing lined up. Now I'm gonna bolt the engine on and then get a chain on and make sure it lines up for goodsies. Don't have a fancy metal bender, but I'm trying to get bend this at an angle right there. Look at that. Perfectly symmetrical handlebars, kinda. <laughs> Close enough though. So we stole the camper tire. Now we got two tires. Except these axles are still just giving us the beans. Make some spacers. Big moment, we're about to have wheels mounted to this vessel. All right, look at these tolerances we're working with right there. Ooh, that takes some so engineering tough. skills. Totally intentional. Okay, we no, might momentarily have a working tricycle. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's so cool. The last wheel is about to go on. It's done, give him a spin. Give him a spin. <laughs> it's obviously balanced super well. We don't have brakes and that's now a problem. That's idling. That's, it's idling right now. Walking back to our first actual live test run. It's got a horrible turning radius. Turn, turn there you on. go, sir. The nice thing is, uh, if you let go of the throttle, you're not going to go anywhere, really. Right, give me one second. Oh, right, that's... <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> <laughs> 
something so you can't drift it all right chain fell off so it turns out it doesn't drift 